Hey, it's Laria. I'm sure most of you know this already, but BlizzCon was this past weekend, and they released so much news and so many announcements about World of Warcraft, including the next three expansions, and I'm just really looking forward to the road ahead in this game. This basically all I've wanted to do this weekend was play this game. So in this video, I want to go over the takeaways from BlizzCon day one and day two and tell you about some of the things that I am most excited about and I hope that you will also be excited about some of these things. The first thing I want to talk about are delves, and a delve is a quick adventure for flexible groups, so either solo or up to five players, it doesn't really matter what the comp is, you could be a solo healer or have three DPS. This is a new endgame activity that's different than dungeons and PvP, and for anyone who has played Final Fantasy XIV, it reminds me a lot of variant dungeons. Delves are also part of the new weekly vault, as you can see PvP has been removed from the bottom row there. And I'm actually really excited about this because I've never really bothered with the PvP row of the Weekly Vault. PvP is just not really my thing. And in case you're wondering about Weekly Vault rewards, Delve Loot can reach end boss raid gear, which is actually pretty good if you consider the amount of time and work that you're putting in. The next thing I want to talk about is Warbands, and Warbands is a new system that is a huge quality of life improvement for anyone who plays alts. It means that all of the characters on your account, regardless of server and faction, it means that they share renown and reputation. So this is huge. This is something that I know a lot of players have been asking for, and now it's finally here. There's also a Warbands bank, so you don't have to keep mailing items to your alts, and you can also craft from the account-wide storage bank. Other items you can add to the bank are warbound items that you can create. You can't sell them on the auction house or trade them, but you can give them to your warband alts. This gear is labeled as warbound until equipped, and this makes it much easier to gear up your alts. Something else that I am super excited for are cross-realm guilds. This means that if you have friends on other servers that you do Mythic Plus with or other content, you can all be in the same guild. This also means that if there are cross-realm guilds, then we now have day one cross-realm mythic rating. And this is something that I have wanted for years, so I am so happy to see that it's happening. I also have a few other takeaways from BlizzCon, and the first one has to do with the War Within cinematic with Anduin. I have always loved the Rins, and I knew immediately as soon as I saw the first character in the cinematic, I was like, that is Anduin, and I was so excited. And the music is just phenomenal. It is beautiful, it was stunning. So the cinematic, I. I knew I had to include in this video. If you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend it. And the next thing I want to talk about is one of the new zones that they mentioned called Hallowfall. And Hallowfall, there's something about it that just reminds me a lot of Drustfar, if, if anyone played BFA or if you remember it. And I still have random moments when I think about Drustfar. I have a lot of fond memories of questing there and leveling in there, but every once in a while I'll, I'll be playing like in game and something will just remind me of Drustfar and I there's part of me that misses it and wants to go back and see it. There's just something about Hallowfall that is a little dark and I don't really know what it is exactly. We don't know that much about it, but from what I've seen, you can see in the screenshots, it is a beautiful zone and I cannot wait to explore it. The last takeaway I want to mention is Nerebar Palace. It is an eight person raid and we don't know that much about it yet, but we do know that it has to do with the Nerubian Empire, the queen and her work with Zalatath. So that's all I really can say about it there. They didn't give us that much information about it, but you guys know I love raiding and I cannot wait to see more. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of BlizzCon was or what you are looking forward to either in the War Within or the next three expansions.